I think you've got to be a little bit insane to play this game, but um, but that's, you know, what less would you expect from the campus of Berkeley? Actually, what really got Frank was I said, you know, this is our one chance to be a world champion at anything. And uh, I think that helped the seed, and so we went for it. started when this guy, Mark Hurtline from uh, Michigan, he would played in the game there, moved to, moved to Berkeley to work at uh, Lawrence Berkeley Labs and wanted to play. For the first couple of years, we only had, you know, two or three or four people showing up every week. And Tom and me were pretty much the regulars. And then three years ago, we finally had we got critical mass where we could show up. And then, you know, we said, hey, you know, now we got a team. Why don't we go? try out for some championships. <laughs> I'm Adam Pulitzer. I'm 27. I'm a biophysics grad student. The thing about Adam's mustache that I'm wondering is just if, if he's like Samson, because he has such a deadly shot. I'm just wondering if we shave it, like if he'll start missing. I'm Jeremy Schaefer from Berkeley, California. I do a lot of stuff, juggling, uh, hand whistling, origami. This is right here. Is a example of my origami. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Sowers. I'm uh, 48. I'm like a West Indian, man. I have five jobs. I DJ, I teach dance, work as a lawyer, uh, and I serve on the board for San Francisco Cultural Arts Tradition. I do physics and chemistry work. So it's, uh, I work at a synchrotron, which is a big X-ray generating facility. Frank Olivier. Clown College, 1979. Started unicycling at age 11. Probably played my first game of unicycle basketball at age 12. Took it up again four years ago, and we are now number two in the world. Hoping to change that real soon. There's not all that many people who play it, so if you practice hard, you can actually be one of the best players in the world. You know? <laughs> My short-term aspiration is for us to win the U.S. team, a U.S. team, which preferably would be the Berkeley Revolution, to win the World Championships. My bigger aspiration is to, to really see unicycle basketball grow as a sport, get more people involved. Like I can't understand why it's not part of the Olympics yet. You know, the, the general reaction is, wow, it's really amazing that you guys are able to do that uh, on those things. As I said, when, when you're playing at a high level, when you have people who are actually good, it's impressive. So here's, here's the deal about unicycle basketball and the world championships. The, the championship teams have been Puerto Rico, Switzerland, right? Well, but here's, here's the deal. So the Puerto Rican All-Stars, they have the best players from all over Puerto Rico, but you can drive across that island, you know, from one point to another in pretty much an hour, maybe, maybe an hour and a half, right? So getting all the best players together, even though they have different clubs in different cities, is easy. Same with Switzerland, but we're sort of at a geographic disadvantage in terms of bringing the best players together and having them practice. The Puerto Ricans are considered the best, but yeah, the, Unis the Berkeley Revolution got second place on that. Unicycle basketball is, I'm not really into the competition thing, although, I mean, I can, it's really fun to compete, um, but I don't mind sucking. <laughs> I think I can be the shack. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not even going to try to crack jokes. One of the personality characteristics of unicyclists is that they're always looking for a more difficult way to do things. That's why we got into unicycling in the first place. Once you've mastered this, this device, uh, to see what else you can do with it. Almost anything you can imagine you can do on a unicycle has been done. You're on a unicycle, your hands are free, you know, if you like to play basketball, check if you can bounce a basketball. I think if, if, if there was a last word, I would just like encourage anybody that's inclined to try unicycling and just to warn them, it feels impossible when you first try. Like, I 
think adults forget how hard it was to learn to ride a bike. I don't think it's that much harder to learn to ride a unicycle. It's just that we forget what it's like to really not know something and have to spend some time. But I think the rewards are great, and you know, especially for people that as we get older, we know that doing new things is really good for our brain. I think it's been like the most healthy thing that could have happened to me in the last four years. So I'm, I'm psyched to be doing unicycling.